Hey, welcome to our episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. All right, so this is a beer I've had quite a few times. I remember it used to be like a really big deal beer, and now it's just kind of another beer on the shelf, I guess. Uh, this is from Half Acre Daisy Cutter Pale Ale. 16 ounce can. Doesn't say anything about it other than they're out of Chicago, and it's 5.2 ABV. I do like the bottom of the can. Looks like it was canned on January 4th, I guess. So this is pretty old. I pour it into the IPA glass, um, and it looks looks like an IPA. I'd call it like kind of like a mm, dark gold to amber kind of color. It's got a bit of a haze to it, but it, I would not call this the same thing as like today's hazy IPAs or New England or whatever. Get a big uh, white frothy foam on there. Most of it has stuck around. Okay, well, this is kind of, I can smell for what it is to me is always oxidation. It smells like lemon lollipops. Although, I mean, a lot of that could just be natural citrus character from whatever hops that they're using. By the way, I looked this up on Untapped and it said it was 60 IBUs. That's like really high for a pale ale. Um, I should have looked up, you know, like what malts and hops are and all that, but. Let's see, this one still stands the test of time. <laughs> Cheers. Hmm. Yeah, so this is definitely oxidized. I'm getting like what I always kind of call like a lemon lollipop or honey lemon cough drop kind of flavor on here. Although because the beer is citrusy um, from the hops, it's not like super distracting. So it's, although I wouldn't go as far as say it's complimentary. It's just that it's like not as distracting as it would be if it was like a, you know, 4% Kolsch or some, any kind of like lager like that. Um, yeah. So, I mean, at least it isn't like, you know, super clashing in this beer. And I looked it up on Untapped. They said it was 60 IBUs. This definitely does not taste like 60 to me. Again, it's a, what, five, six month, almost six month old bottle or can. Um, so yeah, probably a lot of the hops dropped after a while. So, I mean, at least this one is like this, it's funny cause like you need some age on it to actually make it drink like a pale ale. Cause I remember having this fresh and it's just like, it's kind of like Dale's pale ale where, you know, it's like just so bitter. It basically is an IPA, but you let it sit for a little bit. That bitterness seems to come down and now it drinks like a pale ale. I'm trying to like pick up like on the. The actual malt character here, I mean, it's like a pretty standard kind of two-row kind of thing. Um, I would not say it's like toasty or caramelly or anything like that. It's a, To me, it's just a very simple recipe. I'm usually pretty good at like picking up on, you know, the finer nuances. Um, not to sound like a broken record or just like a basic bitch, but I mean, this is like this, the hop character here is definitely, you know, lemon, orange, it's pretty much just lemon and orange. I would not really say grapefruit, and I definitely would not say tropical. I'm not getting pineapple or guava or anything like that on here. I will say I get like a little bit of like a peppery kind of spicy thing, which is nice. Um, that could be, uh, you know, like just something that's lingering from like, I know like mosaic and um, like citra and some of the other like hazy hops. They do tend to have like a bit of a grassy or spicy kind of taste or sensation to them. So if that's what they use in this one, I mean, that would probably explain it. I, I highly doubt they're using noble hops. I will say the drinkabil drinkability on this one's pretty good. Um, I mean, as you can see, it's not the milkshake that so many IPAs are today. So it has like the kind of like a body of like, kind of like a lager, I guess you could say, or like an old school pale ale. I mean, I'd probably put about medium carbonation probably about medium maybe medium high maybe definitely got some zip to it um when it hits my tongue like i noticed like it's actually kind of refreshing for a moment there just like uh, on the splashdown <laughs> um i do say i will say like the hops do linger here a little but like not to the extent of an ipa so it i feel like i'm doing this beer injustice because this can is so old but i mean you know that's all we can get here in florida so um yeah i'm gonna rate this kind of low uh, i'm gonna go seven maybe even six and a half and remember i'm just i'm reviewing this can not the product in the aggregate or as a whole or whatever but 
you know, if I had a fresher can, you know, maybe I'll come back to this another time. You know, this is definitely, even though to me it's, you know, quite oxidized, it's still, you know, pretty flavorful and the actual drinkability on it is nice. Um, it's just, you know, if it was fresh, it'd be probably much, much higher scoring. So yeah, seven out of 10 for half acre Daisy Cutter Pale Ale. A, a, a more interesting label would help too. This one is kind of, yeah, by by today's crazy label standards. So, uh, I am rambling. If you watch all the band, you're awesome. Thanks for watching. I'll see you for the podcast. Cheers. <laughs>